Hello everybody, today we have beautiful gaming laptop Lenovo Legion 7 i7 10th gen RTX 2070 Super Graphics. Let's take it apart, let's see what we can fix, upgrade, replace. Let's start with the bottom screws. So the upper screws are longer. Remember that when you are putting back the case. Now we have to pry off the bottom case. Use only plastic tool otherwise you will scratch your parts so find a gap put the sponger in between and then work your way around the edge Right, the bottom is out. Here we have the part number. So let's start with unscrewing the battery and then we will pull out the connector from the motherboard. Now we can pull out the connector, the battery is free. Now we have here, the, that's the model number for the battery. You can find your parts at, on gatlaptopparts.com. Now we can take out the SSD drive. That's our storage, so if your laptop doesn't boot or you would like to upgrade the storage, that's how you do it. That's the NVMe drive. Now let's check the memory. Let's lift the cover. So here we have our memory. Spread those arms and then you can take it out. It's a DDR4 memory, so you can replace it if it doesn't work or upgrade for bigger one. Now let's take out the Wi-Fi card. Start with disconnecting the antenna. Now unscrew one screw on the top. You may need actually to lift the 
heat sink first because it's blocking our Wi-Fi card. So let's do the heat sink. Let's unscrew all the screws. gonna come out oh let's disconnect the fan from the mother motherboard and the second fan is here okay we got it when you leave the heat sink be careful, don't bend it. It may be stuck because of the cooling paste. Okay, this one came out easy. Here we have the part number. That's our heatsink fan assembly. So if your cooling doesn't work or fan is making grinding noise, replace this part. Now we can take out the Wi-Fi card. That's our Wi-Fi card. Here we have the model and part number. Now let's take out the I.O. board and the motherboard. So unplug all the connectors from the motherboard. The speaker. So if your sound is bad, replace speakers. It's easy to do that. Just disconnect it from the motherboard and you can take out both speakers. Here we have part numbers. Okay. Now we will be taking out the motherboard. So we are disconnecting all the cables, the touchpad cable. the keyboard cable. I always close the retaining clip after we disconnect the connector, otherwise you may break it later. Okay, looks like all the cables are disconnected. Let's take out the screws. And I'm taking screws out also for the I.O. board with our USB port. Okay, let's see if it's free. Here we have the video cable, so let's disconnect this. Looks like we missed one screw here. Let's take it out. Now we can take out the motherboard. Oh, and the I.O. board is connected here. Another board is out. That's the part number. The GPU and the CPU are soldered on the motherboard, so you cannot replace it. If that doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Now let's take out the I.O. board. Okay, 
that's our use our usb board so if the port doesn't work you can replace just this board now the keyboard is riveted to the palm rest so you cannot take it out you can take out the track but you would have to unscrew these screws and then you can replace it so now we are we're gonna disconnect hinges for the screen so we can free up our screen you have to take out these two screws That's the Wi-Fi antenna. Let's see. So now we have to take out this hinge cover. It covers our hinge screws. So you have to wiggle it and disconnect all the clips. Besides the clips, there is adhesive, so be gentle when you do that. All right, our cover is out. Now we have the hinge screws. Now we can disconnect the screen. So that's our Palmer's touchpad keyboard assembly. Usually sold in one piece. Here we have the part number. If you need parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. Now let's disassemble the screen. So we have to lift the front bezel, be gentle because it's very thin and fragile. There is adhesive, so find the gap and then work your way around the front bezel. The front bezel is out. It was mostly attached with the adhesive, so you will need a new adhesive to put it back on. Now we can take out our screen. So take out the hinge screws.
So to take out the screen from the back cover, those are the black tabs that you have to find on the bottom of the screen and then pull them out. This silicone stripe goes around the whole screen. So once you pull it out, then you can take out the whole screen. Here we have the model number for the screen. Okay, and that's our back cover with the video cable and the webcam. Here we have the part number. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.